Hello guys, welcome back to Mufasu Cat with AutoCAD 3D Modeling Project Exercise number 49 How to make a 3D hand grip object And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel You can click here And click OK Next, active a notification Checklist And save To get our new tutorials Ok, we start now, open your AutoCAD software And first I will change into front view Ok I will create line, start from this point to the right 5, move uh, to the top here 22, and move uh, to the left here 5. Okay, you can copy this uh, lens object uh, to the left uh, 0 0.5, and I will copy this line object uh, to the top 2 and 3. You can use a mirror command to mirror uh, this uh, two line object. Start from middle point to the right here, and then I will uh, copy this uh, line object. Start from this point to this uh, point. You can move uh, this uh, two line object to the bottom 0.5 and enter. Okay. Use uh, line command. I will create line. Okay, I will create uh, in here one. Move uh, to the top here two, and then move uh, to this point. Okay. Use a uh, trim command to cut uh, this object, and I will cut uh, in here. Okay. Next, uh, we cut uh, in here. Use a uh, fillet. I will uh, fillet. Uh, with uh, radius uh, 0 0.5 we fill it with uh, multiple option at uh, this corner ok in here in here ok you can select uh, this corner one by one ok in here and the last uh, in here ok Create line object, start from this point to the top And use a trim command to cut uh, this line object Ok, I will use a join command to join uh, this uh, all object and enter Ok, this already join and change into polyline And then you can convert uh, this to this cat into 3D model by using a revolve command Type a revolve, enter Select uh, this to this cat and click at this point to the bottom with a 360 degree and enter. Okay, I will uh, rotate this uh, object. Start from this point with a minus uh, 15 degree. Okay, and then so we create line. Start from this point to the right here uh, 14. And then you can uh, mirror this uh, object from this middle point to the bottom and enter. Create a circle with uh, tangent. Click at uh, this uh, lines object with uh, radius uh, 5 and enter. Use a trim command again to cut uh, this line object and cut uh, this circle. Okay. You can orbit this object. And then so I will create a helix uh, object. Okay, you can tap helix, enter, center point at this point. Okay, and then I will click at uh, this point. Click again in here. Move uh, to this point. Okay, select uh, this helix object, right click uh, properties. And then so you can change turn here into 2.2. .2. And turn hack into 1.1. Okay, and the result like uh, this uh, object. Okay, next uh, you can change into top view. I will select uh, this object. Right click and then you can uh, hide uh, objects. Now we rotate this object. Start from uh, this point with. Uh, minus uh, 16 degree and enter okay and you can rotate use a blend command okay you can tap a uh, blend to connect uh, this helix into this uh, lines 
okay and you can select uh, this uh, RC object delete the result like this uh, object okay next uh, use a join command to join uh, this all objects into polylens objects okay we create circle in here with the radius uh, 0 0.5 and then you can use a sweep command to sweep uh, this uh, circle with uh, this object and this already changed into 3d models you can change into realistic view to view the object okay this uh, preview for uh, object and you can right click uh, isolate and object isolation okay next uh, i will change into top view and we create a circle in here with uh, radius uh, 0 0.6 0 0.6 you can copy this uh, circle object uh, to the right here uh, too and then uh, i will create a line object start from this point to the right uh, 14 okay you can uh, mirror this uh, two circle object start from this point to the bottom and mirror again this uh, line object from this point to the rack and enter use uh, trim command to cut uh, this uh, two circle object okay we trim uh, this circle object and then so I will offset with uh, offset distance 1 you can click uh, this uh, line object and click at uh, this uh, RC object use uh, trim command again to cut uh, this uh, lens object okay now we convert uh, this uh, to this cat into 3d model by using press pull command you can type a uh, press pull select uh, this face move uh, to the top here 0 0.5 and enter now i will move uh, this object start from um, center point in here okay into center point in here Okay, move this object uh, to the top here 0 0.9 0 0.9 and enter okay we already create uh, this uh, 3d hand grips object for final i will give a uh, material and rendering into this object okay first i will change face trees into 10 point to look uh, more smooth and then I will change into 2D wireframe. You can change into top view. Okay, I will change into left view again. And then so we rotate this object. Start from this point to the top here. Change into top view. We create a plan shift. Okay, plan shift. Start from this point to this point create a camera start from this point to this point and then I will change into left view you can move uh, this object okay move uh, this object uh, to the top here and then I will change into camera one view okay change into realistic view okay we create uh, this uh, model Okay, you can see you can press uh, F7 to hide the uh, grid okay next uh, we apply material into this object you can tap uh, airmat to open material browser I will use uh, metal material and steel this uh, galvanic you can select uh, this uh, all object okay right click uh, assign to selection I will change uh, uh, here I will uncheck the uh, real uh, pattern and then use a uh, tin change into this color okay and then I will create a uh, new uh, material you can duplicate a global material and then I will use image okay I will use uh, this uh, image okay control image and then so i will apply into this surface okay you can select uh, this face select uh, this face okay we select uh, this face 
this face and then the last in here right click and assign to selection okay now we try to rendering uh, this uh, object you can close in here okay but first i will uh, use a thin color in here i will change into this color okay and then close close active uh, full shadow and then uh, use uh, high render next uh, active environment and i will use background change into solid uh, with uh, white color okay okay and then close now we try to render this object you can click here to render waiting for interlogging and we waiting for our rendering process until finish it's about 10 level okay we finish rendering process and i think it's enough today for autocad 3d modeling practice exercise number 49 how to make hand grip object if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video and see you next time in autocad 3d modeling practice exercise number 50